Divorces in Hollywood aren't really surprising anymore, but Judge Greg Mathis and Linda, I didn't see that one coming. After 39 years of marriage, you have to wonder what went wrong. People are already speculating that Linda got fed up with Judge Mathis's cheating, while others think it's about more than just infidelity. As usual, I've got the inside scoop. The divorce is shocking to many, especially since Mathis and Linda seemed so close. Back in 2022, they gave fans a glimpse into their lives with their reality TV show, Mathis Family Matters. Mathis even said that while his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was a big achievement, his family was the real foundation of his success. He mentioned how Linda's support allowed him to work long hours, which played a big role in his career. More recently, at the beginning of 2024, the two were seen looking cozy together on social media while vacationing in Cabo. Then, in March, they seemed to be on good terms at an influencer's brunch. They even talked about whether Mathis Family Matters would return, and how they stayed so close as a family. According to Mathis, they were a wholesome family with flaws like everyone else, but they never really fought. Well, we're not going to fight. If that's the condition of coming back, we're not coming back because we are a whole family, a wholesome family. We all have our flaws, but we don't fight. Linda seemed to feel the same way as she expressed similar sentiments. Well, you know, you mentioned our, our family show, Mathis um, Family Matters. And as you see on there, our influence is that, you know, black families are great families. And though they're not filled with, um, you know, just inner fighting and so just a couple of weeks ago linda posted photos and videos from a father's day family gathering with greg in the caption she wrote had such a beautiful time celebrating father's day with my family and friends at the johnson residence yesterday very uplifting to see all the fathers being celebrated especially my husband greg and son-in-law ryan on june 10th judge mathis also shared a photo of linda smiling and comfortably posing in his arms at a concert in detroit so how are these same people now getting divorced? What happened? According to the divorce documents, Linda lists their separation date as July 17th, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. If you're like me, you're probably wondering irreconcilable differences after 39 years of marriage? You'd think after that long, they'd know how to work things out. But it seems there are some issues that Linda just couldn't resolve. On the bright side, there are no young children involved, so custody and child support won't be an issue. Judge Mathis and Linda have four kids, but they're all over 18, and the couple is even grandparents now. For the first time in 15 years, the kids are all back in the same city. But that doesn't mean Linda isn't asking for anything. She's actually requesting spousal support and has even checked the box to prevent the court from granting spousal support to Judge Mathis. It's also unclear if there's a prenup involved, so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Honestly, this divorce has shocked a lot of people because no one saw it coming, especially given how highly Mathis has always spoken of his wife. Mathis has been consistently vocal about his love for Linda over the years. When he received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in May 2022, he made sure to thank his wife and family for their support. He's always been open about how she managed the family's finances and helped him get his life together when they first met. So, for Linda to file for divorce after 39 years of being with the same man, day in and day out, dealing with in-laws and managing the home and finances, Mathis must have really messed up. I was just as confused as everyone else when I heard the news. I did some digging to find out what might have happened and surprise, surprise, Mathis hasn't exactly been a saint. There are a few stories about his questionable behavior. For example, back in 2019, the police investigated an incident where Matisse allegedly spat on a parking valet. The incident supposedly took place around 8 p.m. outside a club on St. Antoine Street in Detroit. The police report indicated that Matisse got upset, thinking the valet had misplaced his car keys and allegedly spat on him in anger. There are also reports that he's quite stingy. I even recall a story from years ago where he insisted on paying for dinner with coupons and used a calculator to make sure he didn't tip more than necessary. Allegedly, when dining with friends, he never pays for their meals. Instead, when the bill arrives, he pulls out his calculator to figure out his share down to the penny. Just last year, there was another incident involving Judge Mathis, where law enforcement reported that an employee from the LA Department of Water and Power accused him of threatening workers with after a heated confrontation. 
According to the employee, Matis got upset when they asked him to move his vehicle. Words were exchanged, and things escalated to the point where Matis allegedly flashed and pointed his gun at the workers. However, when Matis was asked about the incident, he had a completely different story. He claimed that the employees were blocking his vehicle, preventing him from pulling out of his driveway. Apparently, one of the workers got smart with him, standing in the street and saying that if Mathis didn't move, he'd get run over by their work truck. Mathis said he took that as a threat and insisted that he never brandished or pointed anything at anyone. If these are just some of the things he's been doing in public, imagine what might have been happening behind closed doors. There's also speculation that infidelity could be the cause of the divorce. Remember when Wendy Williams hinted that Judge Mathis was cheating on his wife? The judge went on her show for an interview, but things quickly went south when Wendy asked about allegations that he was caught in a motel room with a crackhead and a woman who wasn't his wife. That might not be true, according to you, what about is? this woman that you, that allegedly you, you slept with, Wendy. you allegedly Wendy, got her pregnant. Her. Listen to, the, just her pregnant. let me draw up the skeleton, judge, and then you fill part. in the meat. When I tell you that Judge Mathis went off on Wendy after that, believe me, he didn't hold back at all. He really went in on her, and it was intense. Talk about fueling your stuff. You, on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to coffee. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. And lastly, what are I those symptoms? You, tell me. These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing and up. And I did Secondly, Afrin. And I did you, Afrin. This eternal cold that you continue to have. Yes, oh, that yes. you can't have to come to work. Because every other okay. week, how you even stupid so low as to blame it on your baby? Your newborn? How low oh, can you get? Gosh. That's about as low as you can get to blame your child oh. for your then, lastly, yes, lastly, judge. your bisexual activity. Oh, I'm sure your no, uh, audience want to know about that. I'm I've heard that rumor. I'm sure and my finally, husband would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he watches. Does he watch when you do it? Yes. Don't wow. you know? No, I don't know. I didn't know you were that low down. Lastly, lastly, we can continue with what I heard about all those. It's like eight. You had eight. Of Oh, That's what I heard. That's the rumor. How now you want to keep fueling that? Do you, did you write about that in your book? I wrote a book. Oh, okay. book. Yes. All eight of them? Yes, I wrote I have a book. So here's what happened. A woman claimed that not only did Matha sleep with her while he was high, but she also asked if she could sleep with his wife, Linda. This woman even said she got pregnant by Judge Mathis. But according to Mathis, he had no idea who this woman was, had never heard of her, and suggested she was probably paid to make up the story. I can only imagine that if Wendy Williams still had her show, she would have had a field day with this divorce, especially after how Matisse put her on blast in front of her entire studio. She'd likely speculate that Matisse had been unfaithful all along, and might even have a few kids out there with his DNA. You know how many people already think infidelity could be behind the divorce, especially noting how Mathise was always quick to check out videos or pics whenever a pretty woman was suing on his show. People have been saying he's got a wandering eye, and if he blew up at Wendy Williams, maybe there's some truth to it. On the other hand, some sources say that Linda's decision to file for divorce isn't because of anything scandalous. Instead, it's because Judge Mathis has been working too hard and neglecting their relationship. I mean, Judge Mathis is currently running several charities and a production company, which keeps him working 70 to 80 hours a week. An insider revealed that Linda sacrificed her whole life for that man, but he's been working nonstop for the better part of the last 30 years. Apparently, Judge Mathis promised Linda that he would slow down so they could travel the world together and enjoy the rest of their lives, but it seems like he has no plans to slow down anytime soon. The insider also added, Life is too short, and if Judge Mathis wants to keep working all the time, that's his choice. But Linda's not willing to keep sacrificing her own happiness. According to this insider, Judge Mathis might still have one last chance to save his marriage if he agrees to slow down and show more appreciation for his wife. If he does, Linda might take him back. But I don't know, guys. Last I heard, Mathis doesn't even work as much as he used to. So I'm not sure if his work schedule is really the issue here. In fact, some people believe that Linda got tired because he's probably at home now, getting on her nerves and isn't bringing in the same amount of money he used to. Of course, there's also speculation that Linda might be the problem. One person on X wrote, 
90% of divorces are initiated by women. The kids are raised, his money is flowing, and she's ready to start her second life with his money. Women are single-handedly destroying the idea of marriage by wanting to be independent off a man's hard work. Another added, the marriage has been over. His antics on TV were just a glimpse of what caused this. She stayed for the money until it wasn't enough. There are a lot of different theories out there, but what do you think caused the irreconcilable differences? Was it infidelity? Mathis working too much or maybe not working enough? What do you think led Linda to file for divorce after 39 years of marriage? Let me know in the comments below.